Hi everybody, it's Brian from iSpring. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a video lecture from a PowerPoint presentation. The first thing you need to do is download a free, fully functional trial of iSpring Suite right here on the iSpring website with this button. Once it's installed, it'll show up right here in PowerPoint as an extra tab on the toolbar. Then you can follow these instructions to create a video lecture. What you're going to do is record a talking head video to accompany these slides, so you should use them as a speaking aid. That means keep them simple, and don't put too much info on them, because you're going to be filling in the details personally with your recording. First, I'm going to show you how to record a video right here, but if you already have a video recorded, stay tuned because our next stop is the narration editor, where you can import it to the timeline. Alright, let's get started. Here in the recording window, you can make things easier by using the slide notes as a script, and start recording with this button. Continue clicking this button to move along, and when you're done, click OK. Now let's hop over to Manage Narration and see what to do next. The preview right here in the middle shows your PowerPoint slides on the left, and your video on the right. And there's the two clips I just recorded right here on the timeline. I'm just going to select them and delete them so I can show you how to import pre-recorded video. I'll go back to the beginning and click the video button on the toolbar. I'll select all my clips and now here in this window I'll insert them at the beginning of the slide and automatically adjust each slide to match the duration of each clip. Okay, looks great! Now the next step is to fine tune your clips with the built-in editor. This is especially handy if you're recording directly from iSpring like I showed you earlier. If you need to, you can delete unwanted sections, silence unwanted audio, or trim out good sections, and another great tool is noise removal. As you can see here in the screenshots, all you gotta do is select a section of background noise, and then use this to remove the noise throughout the entire clip. Plus, you can adjust the volume, or use a fade in or fade out effect. When you're satisfied, click save and close. Another thing you can do, especially if you've got pre-recorded video, is to use the sync button up here to synchronize it with your slides and animations. When you press the start sync button, it works just like when you record. Just click the next slide and next animation buttons at the appropriate moments, and everything will line up automatically. Then you can click Done to save the changes, or Cancel to revert back to what you had. Here on the timeline, you can zoom in to fine tune all the timings. Slide durations can be changed by dragging these edges, and you can even make transitions longer if you want. And these yellow markers represent the on click animations. You can use this play button to preview your timings, and you can even look at the waveform down here to drag stuff to the right moment in the audio. You can also use this Undo button up here, or press Ctrl Z on your keyboard to undo any of your changes. When you're satisfied with your video narration, click Save and Close right up here. Now I'm going to go over here to the Presentation Explorer and show you how to automatically configure the player to change focus from slides to video. Here in the Layout column, you can choose the right layout to draw focus from one to the other. The full layout shows the slide and video right next to each other, the no sidebar layout maximizes the slide, and the maximized video layout maximizes the video. You'll see what those three layouts look like after I publish. Speaking of which, it's time to save these settings and go ahead and publish. The best place to share your video lecture is iSpring Cloud Hosting and Sharing Service. If you don't have an account yet, it's super easy to sign up with this tiny little form right here. Then go back and enter your login details, and you're ready to publish directly to iSpring Cloud. In this step, you can also pick a player. The Universal Player uses this layout, which shows the video up in the corner here, but the Video Lecture Player is the best one to use for video lectures like this. If you want, you can customize the player with this button, and when you're ready, Go ahead and publish. Depending on the size of your video lecture, it may take a little while to convert and upload, especially if you have a lot of videos, so you might want to grab a cup of coffee. 
Then it'll open up here in iSpring Cloud, and you can give it a trial run. As you can see, the first slide is the full layout, then it automatically switches focus to the slide, and then the video. Also, the user can manually adjust the layout to focus on whatever they want. Now let's go up here and check out the sharing options. You can enable or disable access with this switch, and here's the public link which you can copy and share with anyone. There's even a few buttons for you to instantly share on social networks. Plus, you can send out an email from this tab and embed this video lecture on your website or blog with this embed code. Finally, on this tab, you can set a password or enable or disable sharing and downloading. Thanks for watching. Now you're ready to create and share your very own video lecture with PowerPoint and iSpring. Did you like this video? Give it a like and subscribe to the iSpring YouTube channel for more updates.